welcome back to my channel. I am going to give a disclaimer that the setup today is a little DIY. So please bear with me and the lighting may not be the best, but we are going to give it a go. Okay, so as you know, last year, I believe, don't quote me, Target started having a presentation with different black designers, pretty much just like a, a curated assortment of black, pretty much by black. Everything that they were promoting was either founded or created or designed by a black person or black people. So they started to push brands like Shea Moisture, um, Partake Cookies, Rosen Skincare, uh, Carol's Daughter, just to name a few. And then they also started, they also incorporated some apparel. So t-shirts, they also pushed hair care, just, you know, Target, you can pretty much buy anything in there from your socks to the art on the wall. So that's what they were promoting. And it was all, like I mentioned, designed or founded or created. The soul of that brand was from a black person. So they did it again for 2022. And as you can see, I am actually wearing one of the sweatshirts. Noir is what I am wearing today. <laughs> so this is actually, where did I put that? This is by the company Jolie Noir. Jolie Noir is a black owned elevated athleisure wear brand based in Atlanta, Georgia, created by sisters Keandra and Kim Lockett. The idea behind the brand statement, Jolie Noir, is that black is beautiful. Jolie Noir stands for pretty black in French. We are primed to think dark colors, specifically black, are negative and light colors are positive. In an effort to level the playing field, we're working to shape the minds of onlookers and change the meaning, emotions, and values associated with black. Color is something that doesn't come pre-labeled. We label it. At Jolie Noir, we choose to believe that black, like other colors, is beautiful. So this sweatshirt um, is a drop shoulder sweatshirt. Uh, I think it was about like $25, which can't beat that. And it's super super comfortable it also came with the matching sweatpant which i did not buy i figured i could just wear this with a black sweatpant or jeans and also i believe their t-shirts for the most part or their tops actually i think everything i'm not gonna say everything but most of the items on target's website for jolie noir are unisex sizing so usually in target i buy double xl but for this top specifically I sized down to an XL I did try the double XL it just felt a little too sloppy um, but the XL was like perfect and then I also ordered this t-shirt noir icon um, it's like a boxy fit t-shirt and super neutral so this is definitely going to be a staple for spring summer still sticking with apparel um, I also got my daughter some stuff so this is a t-shirt um and this shirt which is really interesting so this is what you'll see the tags that say black history month and black history month again and then black history month 2022 hbcu design challenge so this specific shirt is won the hbcu design challenge it's a design competition in which students from historically black colleges and universities submit designs for target celebration of Black History Month. Winners and finalists win prizes, mentoring opportunities, and a chance for their art to appear in target stores. So my daughter, she really liked this one. This was eight bucks. It also has like some really cool like holographic details. But what was really interesting that the cotton is uh, actually from Bridgeforth Farms, and at least 20% of the total fiber in this garment was supplied by Bridgeforth Farms, a fourth and fifth 
generation black owned cotton farming family business so that is also really really cool so she got this and she picked this one out herself there is also a shirt that I will insert the picture here. I bought also bought that for my daughter. I ordered it from the website. I really love how they do representation of children for these collections. And, and like I said, I will put the picture here. Um, it's like on a really blue color, which that color just looks amazing on my daughter. I just want to say that. It looks so amazing on her and I really love the art on there. So I got that for her. So I also picked up this, the ABCs of Black History. So I am really excited about this book. I feel like, well, I know that we will be diving into this book just to keep it going with Black History. I'm just really, really excited. I figured we can just conquer one letter a day. And, you know, I feel like this is something that she can hold on to and pass down to her kiddos another thing now if you watched my vlog when i went to target i was questioning whether or not to buy this and i didn't mention it in the video but i actually did buy it it's the juvia's place and sealer i ended up getting it and i'm really excited that i did so i will keep you all posted on how this works but again this is a black owned cosmetics brand if your target does have an ulta location within the store you will see this if you again like i mentioned watched my target vlog i had an order pickup that i was super excited about and i'm going to show you what it is it is the harper iman doll she is so gorgeous i was trying to hunt this down i missed the launch date okay now i follow harper iman on target I mean sorry on instagram and i've been eyeing their dolls for a while but then when i saw that they were going to do some dolls for target i was super excited but i dropped the ball because i knew that it was dropping in november but i didn't buy it and then they all sold out so i kept doing the notification on target.com where it emails you when the item is back in stock I'm gonna say I got a notification about 20 different times every single time I tried to go back and buy it. It was already gone. I even called customer service asking, can you put my information on the file so that way as soon as it's back, you can just charge me or can you order it from a store, any store and just ship it to me? It was so hard to find, but one, it was a couple, well, it was when I did my vlog uh, that it was like midnight. I was on the site and I was like, let me just see if any stores near me have it and a store came up stating that it had it and it offered the ordered pickup and i was like on it so got her and this is the exact one that i wanted also her name is ray r-a-e which no, those are my initials so i will be giving this to my daughter on valentine's day our mission is to create dolls that help reinforce how beautiful our children are by providing them with positive affirmations of themselves through dolls that they can actually identify with. We hope to promote a positive self-image in children. We shouldn't be left to identify with dolls that do not share our same skin tone or texture of hair. Our dolls are meant for light imaginative play and we want little kids to be able to have dolls that look like them and share the same style as them. Dolls that reflect who they are and who they want to be. Cynthia and Catherine. And this is a mother-daughter duo that creates these. So just give you a little bunch there. So again, and it's like made out of linen, like this dress with the little tearing and her little head wrap. Oh, such a dream, such a dream. I'm so excited to give this to my daughter. You don't even know. Yeah. So this is the air fryer. I bought it on the Target website in the color snow. I have a gray, but I feel like snow is a bit more my vibe. 5% to fight food insecurity. And you can just scan, you can just scan this right here and it will teach you on how you can purchase or help communities in need. And this has 
pretty good reviews and they also have a lot of other products that have good reviews as well and ghetto gastro serving up sleep design with purpose these three fellows they are john gray pierre sorayo and lester walker are the bronx born culinary collective known as ghetto gastro defining their own lane that transcends food art music fashion and design the bronx is part of the team's lifeblood it's also where i was born um, and every piece of the Ghetto Gastro universe is meant to uplift and celebrate the borough and other places like it as an unsung driver of global culture. And then Crux GG is committed to supporting social food programs. So really excited about that. And yeah, I am going to the links down below of everything I mentioned. Also some other brands that I do use from Target that I hope you are able to pick something up if you do please let me know in the comments below i'm really excited to see what you all have purchased or plan on purchasing or have already purchased thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye